Welcome to the Coral Reef, which is home to an astounding number of marine species. The most important are the stony corals, which secrete calcium carbonate and over time build the reefs as they reach for life-giving sunlight. Many species of fish inhabit the reef, but corals depend on herbivores. Like this parrotfish that uses its strong beak to scrape and excavate algae-covered rock. Parrotfish are also not above having a hefty bite of coral in their search for algae. But unlike parrotfish, convict hangs are more abundant and graze in large schools on single-celled and filamentous algae covering the rocks between the corals. Looking closely, you can see that the convict tang's mouths are downturned to effectively access the reef. They also use their comb-like teeth to rasp algae from the rocks. Feeding in large schools helps the convicts by overwhelming smaller, aggressive reef fish that defend their own algae patches. But not all fish are as easily deterred by convicts descending into their territories. And the larger Achilles tang is no exception. These fish live in small territories and very rarely tolerate competition from other grazers. The Achilles tangs zip across the reef, charging and sparring with the convicts as they feed on the tangs' pastures. But this assault seems to have little effect on the raiding convicts. Eventually, the convicts are driven off by the Achilles tangs, forcing them to look for greener pastures elsewhere. As the convict tangs search for food, they find themselves swimming into the territory of a gold rim surgeon fish. This gold rim surgeon fish means business. With its aggressive black and gold coloration, it makes short work of chasing the rival tangs out of its territory. However, not all fish are as unwelcoming. Hidden amongst the striped bodies of the convicts, a trumpet fish lies in wait, ready to ambush small fish confused by the tang's activity. Convict tangs may seem like the bullies of the reef, but they still do a lot of good. As they feed across the reef, they keep space open for corals to settle and grow. The larger, more aggressive tangs help to keep the convicts on the move, keeping the reef from being overgrazed. Working together, the tangs, parrotfish, and surgeonfish control the reef's algae, and their abundance is important for sustaining healthy coral populations. Sadly, Losing these herbivorous species through overharvest is a normal occurrence throughout the Pacific. This causes the whole reef to suffer because the rapid algae growth crowds and smothers the coral and prevents new corals from establishing. Luckily, we can protect these species, and here are three ways to do it. One, incorporating indigenous knowledge. Two, following fishing regulations, and three, setting up marine protected areas. These techniques help increase the number of herbivores and corals, which keeps both the coral reef ecosystem and the fishery happy and productive. One of the positive effects of marine protected areas is that as fish numbers exceed capacity within their borders, the fish spill over the boundaries and into fishing zones, which increases the potential yields for anglers who would on average catch less fish if there were no protected areas. 
These community relationships support reef fish, like these butterfly fish, that depend on the corals for food, and the countless other species that use the reef for food and for shelter. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of the Pacific. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content, hit the subscribe button. As always, stay wet, my friends. Look at these beautiful fish. I know. They're so cute. People don't get it. People never get it. Even corals are cute. People don't know that corals are animals. I know, and they have so many little tiny mouths. Stop. I cannot. <laughs> no, I'm so serious. Like, I just think about it. They're so cute. People always think they're rocks. I'm like, what? <laughs> they kind of are rocks. No, they think that they're like just Oh, rocks. like like an actual like rock. Like a yeah. rock. Yeah, like a rock. Yeah. No, the rock the, the same as limestone. The rock <laughs> is the skeleton and that is what the parrotfish eats to make sand for our beaches. Always giving back. <laughs>